Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this review, we are looking at the new Age of Apocalypse Sugarman Build-A-Figure Wave of X-Men Marvel Legends Sunfire. And there can't be anybody who doesn't like this design. Is there anybody out there who doesn't like this character design? I think it's just the best. I love it. And every time they make a figure of it, I love that too. So this figure gets a 10 out of 10. No, I'm only kidding. It it's going to get a good review. It's a solid figure for sure. But who doesn't like translucent plastic and like painted flames that look really nice? It's just so cool. It's a very nice figure. A couple tiny issues, but all in all, it's pretty dang good. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands just about to the top of his head, maybe the sixth and an eighth. He's not all that tall to the top of his head, but if you count the fire, it's like seven and a quarter. So he's got some height to him technically there. Uh, that's going to put him at just about, just shy of 16 centimeters to the top of the head. And looking at him right now, you can see he looks very nice. He is translucent. A gray background doesn't really do him justice, though of course, however you have him on your shelf, he's going to have whatever background is there. So there's not much you can do about that. If you put him in front of some harsh lighting like my studio lights, he just glows. It looks so good. It looks so good. I love it. It's very nice. The whole thing's translucent other than the pegs, the hard plastic for the joints. Uh, everything else is translucent or painted and it's wonderful. I love it. The neon orange or fluorescent orange shading they did, it doesn't look great until he's lit up, but on camera you can't even tell. It doesn't look like it's that fluorescent, so it looks really nice on camera. In front of the lights it looks great. Without any of it, it's a little oversaturated compared to the yellow, but it looks good. It still looks good. The paint is very clean. For all the black, it's very well done. Is it absolutely perfect? No, you're never going to get it to be perfect, but the lines are clean. It's mostly opaque. Very, very, very nicely done. The face, very clean. I do wish the eyes weren't so far apart because that doesn't look right. He looks like an alien, but it still looks really good. The white part is clean. The red part is clean and the eyes are technically the orange from behind. So that is a very nice touch too. All in all, it's just a wonderful aesthetic. Could be a little better with the face being a little bit better. Um, and then I guess the saturation, like the yellow without light shining through it, it's not super vibrant there's not a whole lot of saturation the orange is very saturated so it's kind of a weird contrast in real life it looks like on camera it looks better but either way i'll give it a nine out of ten it's really really nicely done now as far as accessories go we don't have any we really could have used some kind of flight stand for this guy um something would have been awesome uh, we got nothing um probably because of the build a figure but still uh, something would have been really nice or some alternate hands or a fireball something would have been good but we got nothing so zero out of ten now as far as the articulation goes the head can look up so far that it pops right off apparently <laughs> I didn't even push that hard that's what she said and so he can't really look up that far it turns out looking down he can look down which is good because he'll probably be flying anyway full rotation a little bit of attitude that's fine Butterfly joint is nice. Shoulders go up better than horizontal, so that's fine. Full rotation, that's good. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, fine. Wrist swivel and hinge. It does kind of suck that because of the way they did the fire, you can't use that hinge to bring his hand up any higher than that, which you may want to, but you can't. And then the fist hand is kind of the same, but you wouldn't want to, so that's okay. Ab crunch is okay. I wouldn't have minded, like, it wouldn't have made sense really, but it would have been better than a big gap. A little, like, just another black line in there, or some more abs, or whatever. Something would have been good. Uh, it's still a very angular ab crunch, so maybe don't lean it back too far. Going forward, it's okay. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's not the best ab crunch in the world. The waist twist is fine. Hips go out to the side pretty darn... Nah, they don't. I thought they went farther on this mold. I guess not. Only about 45, so average. Going forward... That's fine, that's pretty good. Thigh swivel is fine, double jointed knee, fine. Boot swivel good, ankle, ankle's really good. We've seen almost all these parts before, so I'm going kind of fast, but all in all, the ankles work really nicely and everything else works pretty nicely too. So articulation gets an eight on this guy and time for the final verdict. I freaking love this figure so much. <laughs> I like it a whole bunch. I just realized the stand was casting a shadow the whole time professionalism i love this figure subjectively objectively it pretty much lives up to my love <laughs> 
It's a weird way of wording it. Is it perfect? No, the anatomy could be better in a few places. Saturation issues? Sure. There are things that could be better, but that doesn't mean it's not good. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Final verdict, nine out of 10. I'm gonna buy another one. This one has a couple weird issues that I didn't even bother mentioning, but I'm, it's, uh, it's great. I love it, I want more. I don't know why. I'm, what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm gonna get more, at least one, maybe a whole bunch, and I'll just look at them in a pile. I don't know, I like it, you will too. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, because I have new videos almost every day, and for the days I don't, I've got thousands upon thousands, I think we're close to 4,000 videos on the channel now. So plenty of stuff to watch. So come back for all of that, and in the meantime, keep collecting.